Thank you to those of you who have traveled from far and from near to join us today for this annual celebratory occasion on collective intelligence. My name is Beth Novak. I am a chair of the conference, and together with my co-chairs, Michael Bernstein from Stanford and Eric Johnston from Arizona State University, we are delighted to kick off this year's installment of Collective Intelligence 2017. Um, yay. We will be hearing later from Collective Intelligence's fearless founder, uh, Tom Malone from MIT, who's of course here with us, and so many people uh, who have helped to build this not only into a conference, but into a field uh, that has and extends these conversations beyond today throughout the year. So we are of course here to focus on the intersection between humans and machines. But to undertake what we hope is a very serious analysis of how by combining technological tools and human intelligence, that can add up to more enhanced intelligence for groups, for institutions, for organizations, and especially on this installment of collective intelligence, we hope to discuss what that means for democracy and for governance. So I won't uh, delay any further. I want to just make a couple of quick announcements, um, which is to tell you that we have many volunteers who are wonderful fellows of the Governance Lab, which is uh, of which I am the director and co-founder based here at NYU Tandon. Um, they have yellow lanyards, is that right? Badges with yellow lanyards, and you'll see them stationed throughout the place. So if you need to know anything, get answers to questions, find the restroom, get an Uber, uh, think of them as the human version of Alexa, uh, and hopefully even better. We're also, this being a conference on collective intelligence, we want to augment our intelligence by working as a group to extract learnings from the occasion. So we've set up some Google Docs for collaborative note taking. You can find the URL on your program, but let me also just announce it. It is bit.ly slash ci2017-notes bit.ly slash ci2017-notes, uh, and you can again find the agenda. And so we hope that we can keep the conversation going in parallel in the virtual world as we have it also here in the real world. We won't spend time on introducing people and doing long bios. You have abstracts of speakers and bios also in the packet and also on the conference website. Um, so with that, I think let me uh, say thank you to everybody, and I will do a more specific thank yous to all the people who have helped to put this on, and I'm excited to kick off this event. We're expecting 190 people to join us from 19 countries, um, so I hope that as much as we will learn from what happens on stage, you will enjoy the coffee breaks and uh, the conversations in between. So with that, let me welcome uh, Tandon, NYU Tandon's Dean, uh, Kadapali Srinivasan, to uh, kick us off and welcome. Thank you. Srini? Good morning. Um, Beth asked me to say a few words of welcome on behalf of the the School of Engineering, I think she was putting a focus on the words a few, so I will really not say much. Um, in these times when everything looks uh, fractured and fragmented, uh, the appeal of collective intelligence is uh, very obvious. And uh, <clears throat> coming from a whole lot of cultural background that I have, it almost looks uh, spiritual to me. Um, I know that uh, that kind of thinking will be very important for the future. And I know that you think of very large-scale issues uh, such as global change, um, criminal justice, um, governance, sustainability, and all of that. And I know you use a number of very um, modern tools. But I hope uh, you will actually focus on some problems and as Beth said, maybe there is a focus to this meeting and maybe we'll make some uh, progress uh, together. Um, maybe I should <clears throat> take a minute or so to tell you a little bit about our school. Um, we are the School of Engineering of New York University, but we used to be known also as Brooklyn Poly, if some of you might remember that. Um, in its uh, long history, it has had uh, extraordinary things. And uh, most of them all, it carried through uh, thick and thin the idea, the 
the idea that technology has to be put in service of society. That's the motto that has sort of lived on for many, many years, sometimes with articulation, sometimes without, but it uh, certainly continues. For this reason, I think there is a huge confluence between the, the, the spirit of uh, your own uh, meeting and uh, the, the driving motto uh, behind the school where you are holding this uh, meeting on collective intelligence. And I am therefore very excited uh, that uh, it's happening and I want to welcome you all to the school and to the meeting itself. Thank you and good morning.